Hey guys. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, it is Dimma here. Today we're going to be doing our makeup. I haven't done my makeup in such a long time. And some of you were low-key threatening me. Guys, I have actually filmed a few tutorials that I just did not like. I even filmed one like last week. It didn't turn out well. I scrapped the whole video. I was like, they deserve better than this. Okay, so I'm going to be giving you guys a new tutorial today. Hopefully this one goes well. Today I'm going to be doing like a very soft every day every day i've not even started i've started talking rubbish i'm going to be giving you guys a soft everyday type of look that's really what i want to do because i haven't done one of those in a very long time i'm going to start out by priming my face this is my Too faced cooling matte perfecting primer if you guys are hearing any weird sound please there's some basmos going on behind my house i don't even know what they're doing i think that they're constructing something I can hear it, but then I don't know if my mic is picking it up. I'm hoping to God that it's not. If you're new to makeup and you don't understand what this is, it is just something that is going to prevent oil from coming through really quickly for me. I have combination to oily skin and this is just going to help my makeup last a lot longer. Okay, I feel like singing everything these days. Last a lot longer. <laughs> The next thing that I'm going to do after that is to set my brows with some powder because my brows they are not very full and thick and this is just going to help um, just like you know that shiny waxy look that you get sometimes when your brows are very sparse and then oil starts coming through this is going to help prevent that I'm going to breeze through my brows I have a detailed brow routine video on this channel I'm going to have it linked in the description box guys I'm even low-key I'm not gonna lie <laughs> I'm low-key scared like of doing my brows on camera because my brows have just been doing whatever they like. This is the um, Colourpop, I almost said no filter, no. This is the Colourpop Precision Brow Pencil and this is in Banging Brunette. This is like my favorite brow pencil, so. I don't like talking when I'm doing my brows, guys, because Brows are like eyeliner, man. They can feel your fear. After filling in with a pencil, I like to go in with powder. This is ABH um, Brow Powder Duo in dark brown. I'm going to take the darker shade. And I'm just going to use this to kind of fill in all the sparse like, areas that I have. And I also like to consider this to be like an extra layer of insurance or assurance or whatever you like to call it because it's also still more powder going into that area so the probability that your brows will get oily or waxy kind of reduces it. Some concealer. This is my Maxio Finish Concealer in NW40. Using some brow gel. This is the ABH... Um, clear brow gel and I'm just using it to brush my brow hairs upwards so I'm going to prime my eyes with my MAC 24 hour extend eye base it looks like this okay so I'm just kind of just patting this on here and using my finger to blend it out or my fingers to blend it out and I'm focusing on my crease because that's where my eyeshadow starts separating from if it is going to separate so for my eyeshadow I'm going to be using this palette this is my ABH palette it doesn't have a name the palette itself but all the colors they all have names so because they are just this is just like their magnetic palette to be very honest and they just place the individual shadows inside. Okay, so this is the first color that I'm going to use. It's called Brick. With any blending brush you have, guys, it doesn't have to be this one, but this is my MAC 224. I'm going to apply this color into my transition area. So next, going in with this base. This is the P. Louise base in Rumor 4. So I'm going to apply this with a small lip brush clean brush I don't really want to create a cut crease right but I want to give the bright shadow that I am going to apply in this area something to just kind of adhere to guys I said editing got to this point and I couldn't find clips of me 
applying eyeshadow on my lids face i don't even know why i'm laughing i'm actually very irritated right now i mixed these two colors on my lids face so this is orange soda by abh and warm top by abh so i dipped my brush once into each color and i just used it all over that p louise base that you guys saw me applying okay so didn't know that my camera stopped recording but i went in with this dark brown called fudge and i used like a tapered brush to just kind of pack the color into this area okay so my mac 217 just going to use this to blend out and just make that area look very soft and i'm also using this brush to take the color into my crease area The last color that I'll be using is this vanilla shade called Fresh. Just using it to set my brow bone highlight. The same color that I just used on my brow bone. So, I told a very small lie. I'm going to go in with... I'm going to go in with this very dark burgundy shade mixed with the brown that i use on my crease and this is a small like angled brush from sigma it's their winged eyeliner brush and i'm going to use this to create a very thin line so the line that i'm going to create i'm just is going to blend into this um you know dark brown that i have on my outer corner okay i'm going to repeat the same thing on the other eye I think that my eyes kind of look the way that I want them to at this point. I'm hoping that I have all the clips of me doing this eyeshadow, at least applying my lid color and my crease color. I'm not sure how I didn't catch that this had stopped recording. My lashes are going to be this pair. So before I apply my lashes, I am just coating my own lashes with some mascara. Guys, you can actually skip this if you don't want to do it okay it's not a do or die actually if you've been very very like neat with your eyeshadow application you don't need a mascara for this i said it for my foundation i'm going to be using my max studio fix fluid in nw45 Okay, this is my Colourpop No Filter Concealer in Dark 46, okay? To contour, I'm going to be using ABH um, Stick Foundation in Truffle. I'm not going to apply this directly onto my face. I'm going to use um, a brush. This is a Vita Joseph's AB10 brush. And I'm going to apply this on my temples. This is just going to add some structure to my face and some warmth as well. And then I'll do the same on this area here. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and this is much lighter than the first concealer shade that I used. And then just a little down the bridge of my nose. So I'm going to blend this out immediately because this concealer is not as liquidy as my Colourpop No Filter. Um, I'm going to set my image on the eye area with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. To set the contour that I have on my forehead, this is my Milani Press Powder in Earth Glow. Okay, this contour powder is maybe about maybe three shades darker than my actual skin tone. It's not that dark for me, okay? And then, under my cheekbones, I'm going to use um, Fenty Beauty's Contour Powder in Mocha Mami. I want to start using this a lot more because I feel like I haven't used this as much as I should have since I got it. So, it looks like this is very dark. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in Medium Deep.
This is the last powder that I'm going to be applying. It's my Max Yo Fix powder in NW45. So I'm going to line my lower lash line. This is Maybelline's Kajal pencil. Guys, every time I use this here, some of you kind of ask where they can get it, especially those of you in the US and in the States. And guys, I don't know why this isn't available in the US and States, but it's everywhere here in Nigeria. So. So next, I'm going to go in with that eyeshadow in Deep Plum, the one that I used as a liner. And I'm going to smudge this on my lower lash line. That vanilla eyeshadow, the same one that I use on my brow bone area and on my inner tear duct, I'm going to apply more of it on my tear duct area, just on the lower part. So to finish up with my eyes, I'm going to apply some mascara on my lower lash line. Some blush, this is my MAC blush in Raisin, just a little bit in this area here. Some highlighter, this is from my RLG palette. This is Morphe's lip pencil in Bar. First color is going to be Evita Joseph's Utility. I talked about this combo in my favorite glosses. I love it. It's like my everyday nude lip combo. On top of it, I am going to use um, Morphe's Flower Crown. Okay. So guys, that's it. This is my go-to like neutral type everyday look. Like you guys can see that there are no colors standing out on my face. Everything looks really neutral and I really like that. Give this video a thumbs up if you like to share and subscribe to me if you're not yet subscribed. I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. Mwah.